This banner reminds residents of the Para Pedro favela in Rio de Janeiro to stay home. But not working and staying home means going hungry. Many haven't had work since business restrictions were imposed in the city and are unable to feed themselves or their families. Now they rely on food donations. Some days I'm not able to buy oil for cooking, not even a coffee. So what can I do? It's all in God's hands. It's so bad to go hungry, to not have anything to eat, and to have your son ask you for bread or cookie when you don't have anything to give him. Together with a group of ex-prisoners, Juaro da Silva founded the NGO You Soweo, which translates to I am me. They are trying to protect poor families in the favelas during the corona crisis. Our approach is to distribute food. We also give them masks and talk to them about the necessity of wearing them, of being clean and of washing your hands to avoid being infected by the virus. In the favelas, crowded living conditions make social distancing more difficult. Here, the COVID-19 death rate is much higher than in richer neighborhoods. For now, all that people here can do is to rely on outside help and wait for the virus to pass. Pasta Osvaldo Carnival arranges the 16 kilos of food and cleaning products that are packed in this box. It's just one of a million that will be distributed by the Seamos Uno campaign to Argentine families most affected by the coronavirus lockdown. The fear is that as the days go by, if there's no food, people will go out and steal it. The campaign, which means Let Us Be One, has been set up in direct response to the pandemic. It's brought together religious and social groups, as well as businesses and entrepreneurs. The need has forced us to act for a common good, helping people. Pastor Carnival and his volunteers from the Cathedral of Faith are taking these boxes to a poor neighborhood in Buenos Aires. For this family, it's a lifeline. Before, there were no jobs. Now it's even worse. You can't go out to look for work or anything. At the moment, I'm unemployed and waiting to see if I can get government assistance. In another neighborhood, a Jesuit chapel has begun distributing lunch three times a week to 200 people. Elena Servin is one of them. She helps in the kitchen and has also received a food box herself. Although she still gets her salary as a domestic worker, she has to support others in her family who've lost theirs. So it's not enough. We go to eat in the dining rooms and save on food. That's why the food donations have helped us a lot. Rafael Velasco is the head of the Argentine Jesuits. As much as he appreciates the corporate donations, he'd prefer it if the richest were forced to pay a one-off tax. We have to give the state the necessary resources at this time to be able to deal with the crisis. And I think those that have done better in some way should make a greater effort. The campaign has already delivered 100,000 boxes and hopes to raise the figure to a million by the end of the month.